Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a what sold, but this one's a little different. It's not Saturday and Sunday sales. So I shipped on Saturday. So I'm going to say these sales came from Sunday and Monday. And my Monday sales weren't that great, but my Sunday sales were really good. So, um, yeah. Do you guys want to see some Bolo items? So there's one item we were um, driving home and I was like, hey, I sold some boots. And he's like, are you sure those aren't mine? And I'm like, no, they're mine. Because he took a picture of his outside, like on this piece of wood, like they looked all rustic. And I did the white background with mine. I'm like, I'm sure they're mine because I did the white background. Anyway, I think they're the same exact boots, just different sizes. And mine sold first. <laughs> anyway, kind of funny because he's like, I think they're mine. I'm like, no, they're mine. So I'm going to show you guys those boots. They're definitely a bolo item. And also um, from the thrift battle that I did on Primetime Treasure Hunters, we went five rounds and there was one round that I thought for sure that I had that one in the bag. Like I was going to win that round no matter what. Like you added all these items up and it was like over $700 and I paid $2 for the item and I lost that round. That's how good this thrift battle was. So if you haven't seen that thrift battle, definitely go check it out on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. All right, you guys, are you ready to see some bolos? Items that I sold on eBay and Poshmark. Um, one Poshmark item, the rest are all eBay. So like I said, if you guys are not selling on eBay, get your items on eBay. There is like, eBay is my favorite. I'm just like, I've been selling on eBay since 2005, you guys. I love cross posting. Um, but eBay is my favorite platform. 100%. I sell the most on that platform and I just love it. I'm an eBay girl. What can I say? I'm an eBay girl. All right. Um, but the boots, my big money bolo sold on Poshmark. So there is some definite pros to cross posting. Um, if you're not cross posting, you can check out List Perfectly. That's what I use. I I start on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark, sometimes Facebook, sometimes Etsy. Sometimes, what's it called? <laughs> Okay, hardly ever grailed. But um, yeah, list perfectly if you want to try it. Um, there's a link down in the description that shows you how I use it. I don't use the catalog at this time. I do recommend the catalog, but with how many items I have, it's just, it's overwhelming. So it's just too much for me. So I do not use the catalog. Um, will I someday? Maybe if I ever find time to get my items into the catalog. But anyway, if you want to try this perfectly, you can use my coupon code. It's referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. So highly recommend it. I've been using it since, gosh, um, around when they started. I've been with them like forever. I love it. Okay, so this item's really cool. Props go to my husband on this one. Now, here's what I want you guys to tell me. I'm so much chattier on this channel. I want you to tell me, would you have taken the offer? Because um, again, this is his item. So I just tell him what they offer and he says yes or no. If it would have been my item, I would have held out for more because this item is amazing. Um, but his thought was, I got it at an estate buyout. I've already made a ton of money. So the item is pretty much free. And I'm getting an offer for $45 plus shipping. And he said, yes, I would have held out for more. Tell me what you guys would have done. This piece is amazing. So it is a fish, but it's also a vintage, I would say MCM, right? Mid-century modern ashtray. Now it's a piece of art to me. Uh, I don't. I know it's an ashtray because it's got these little like divots where people, I think, put their cigarettes back in the day, but it, it's amazing. I mean, there is some, um, what do you call that when you can see like the little crackling, but I just think that adds character. I mean, this thing is huge. Look how big it is. It's so cool. 
you can see the eyeball right here. Um, it's not marked. And I'm trying to see if I missed a marking. And it looks like that on the bottom. So massive piece. So would you have taken 45 or would you have held out for more? I would have held out for more, but I'm a very patient reseller. <laughs> All right, you guys, let me know what you think about the fish. But yeah, that was my husband's find. Um, I got this in a free box. Free box. I'm like, that is awesome. It is upside down. A Bass Pro Shops. But look how big this is. So over on Donatella Bottolino's channel, she always holds it up to her head to show size. So I'm going to show you how big this is by holding it up to my head. It's a pretty big patch. I mean, if you put that on your shirt, it's it's not the normal patch. So um, what I got this free in a free box. And I will tell you, I got... I think I've already sold four things out of that free box. It was like vintage, awesome stuff. And I'm like, it's all free. I love it. Uh, this sold for actually a decent amount, $22.50 plus shipping. So $26.50, the buyer was all in for $26.50. So that's a cool one. Okay. <laughs> uh, I love it when I sell these. Um, this is a Lou LaRoe. Whoops, I left the thrift store tag in it. You know, the little tags that colored tags that tell you how much you paid for it. I should probably take that off. Okay, so Lou LaRoe, new with tags, $3 plus tax. So like $3.21, something like that, all in. But I thought it was cool because it's got the monsters. So great for Halloween, right? So that day I picked up a whole bunch of these and I picked them up because they were Disney and Halloween themes. And I was like, three bucks each. Somebody's going to buy them just for the print, right? <sighs> they have been really long tail, but they are selling. And I sold that one for, I think it was $16.50. Yes, buyer all in for 2265 so not too shabby for a $3 cost of goods. Good margins. I'll take it. I sold these shoes. Um, they were a store display at Gabriel Brothers. So I think I got them for like $8, but I didn't write it down because it was back before I was doing videos. And I didn't always keep excellent track of, I was going to see if maybe I could see. They don't usually write on the bottoms. They put the sticker on the inside and I took that out. But anyway, these sold for $30, they're kids size, um, and they're like a 10, kids 10. So that's more of like a toddler. So 30 bucks is pretty good, but look how cool the colors are. That is why I pick them up. I love the colors. And I just put um, store display so people would know that they have been tried on in the store. And the buyer was all in for $36.40. So... Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I used to do pretty much clothing and shoes, retail arbitrage. That was about all I did. Um, I have been doing hard goods. I'm going to say, is it close to like three years now? Maybe four? I don't know. I'm still kind of still have clothes, lots of clothes to sell. Um, but yeah, yeah. Retail arbitrage. That's all I used to do. Can you believe it? Now I'm like, no, I don't want any clothes. But um, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you guys remember that jewelry haul that I got? They had all of their items in these bags. And they're actually like really nice bags, but they have um, Disney characters on them. So it's kind of hard to show the items. But I dumped all of them out for the video and I kept all the bags. So I'm like, I'm reusing the bags. So do you guys remember my vintage hair accessories video? Let me show you. If you don't remember, but if you haven't seen it, oh my goodness, you've got to go watch it because I sold one item for like, I think it was like 80 or $90. Amazing. Yeah, you've got to go watch it. Okay. Uh, let me get on screen share here. So it is... Um, what channel was it on? 
think it was on my main channel. Yes. Okay. So it's on my Bolo Buddies channel, my other channel, and I hit 10K. Whoop, whoop. So if you're not sub, definitely go over there and sub. But it's right here. Bet you don't know about this big money Bolo. And that is not it. <laughs> um, but it is awesome. You got to go check it out. Most people do not know about that one. And I was like, should I tell? And I'm like, of course I'm going to tell. So anyway, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, this one's really top secret, but they're hard to find. So to me, it's like, they're hard to find. So you got to find it. But I was lucky and I found it. So go check out that video. And then also be sure to check out this overlooked items, big money video that's right here. Um, that one also has some really good, um, unexpected bolos and the crazy story. If you didn't watch that one, Oh, you got to go see it. Um, I feature an item that Toledo antique sold. So, uh, definitely check out Toledo antique on, uh, YouTube and maybe you will catch them when they're, when they miss, just go watch the video and you'll see what I mean. All right. Um, oh, also, um, coming soon, she doesn't have the thumbnail up yet. It's a chosen goods reseller who is kicking butt. She has 11 videos and already has 364 subscribers. That's amazing. I was like pumping out videos every single day and it, I had way more videos out before I had 364 subs. So she is doing awesome. Um, if you haven't seen the video uh, where I, I'm like the little sidekick over here while she unboxes a box from auctions for you. Um, it's a vintage toy box. And I was like, you've got to get a vintage toy box from auctions for you. So she did it. And then we did the unboxing together. I was like the little special guest. So check out that video and then stay tuned for another one that's coming soon. Um, okay. Now, uh, I was going to show you another thing here. Okay. So that's the vintage hair things. Please go check out that video. You will be shocked at what these things sell for. These were just some headbands and I was like, eh, I'm, I'm going to list them. And you guys, they sold pretty quick. They actually sold for $15 and the buyer was all in for $22.69. And that was one of them where I was like, uh, I don't know, should I list them or should I just donate them? And I'm like, I'm going to get as much as I can out of these vintage hair things. And I listed them and they sold for $15. So that's fantastic because I was thinking about not doing it, you know? Okay. So this is a, oh, what are they called? I just forgot. Um, rescue bots, rescue bots, play school heroes. Yeah. So this is one of the dogs that goes with a play set and he turns into like a motorcycle which I'm not very good at transforming him. So we'll just leave him as a dog for the video. And he sold, for, his name's Growl, for $16.50. The buyer was all in for $22.36 for this little transformer dog. So cool, right? <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I sold another one. So I'll show you that one. This guy is called Morbot. And he sold for $22.50. So he is also a Play School Heroes rescue bot, and he's called Morbot. So Google um, image search will pick up who these are, and then you can do a search on eBay to figure out comparables. So $29.79 all in. So what you do is you, these are really easy. They're more of like a one, two, one step, two step type deal. Um, easy for little kids. So it turns into a little person and then you can just pop it back into a car. So more for smaller children, but great bolo, easy to, well, I shouldn't, I find these all the time at garage sales, you guys. Now the more higher end ones that go for more, not higher end, but um, harder to find ones that sell for like $22. This one's a little bit harder to find, but even the, um, bread and butter ones are fantastic. I got this for a quarter at a thrift store. So same with this guy. I think he was a quarter also, or he was with one of the play sets and had multiple things. So it might've been a dollar for multiple things. And then I divided them out. 
wait until you guys wait until you see the one uh, from the thrift battle that's coming soon but before we do that i want to show you guys something else so over on my reseller testing products you can see here these are all play school heroes rescue bots so i did a video on each one um and i have like several sets of those but like this one got 1.4 views because it got put on the shelf. So if you're on YouTube and you do shorts, that's what these are called. I do a lot of shorts on my reseller testing products. It's more just so I can attach a video to my eBay listing and people can see how the items work. Now, the bad thing about shorts when you're starting a channel, if it goes on to the feed, the shorts shelf, I think it's called, I don't think you get credit for your time. At least that's what I've been told. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it seems to appear that way. I don't know if that's something they're going to change in the future, but shorts are great to get people to come to your channel and subscribe. Um, you have to hold the camera up and down and it has to be 60 seconds or less. So like on YouTube, you turn it to the side to record for the shorts up and down, okay? So those are some tips that you may not know if you're on YouTube and are curious. But there's one video that I did, it ended up going a little bit, I call it viral for me, and it has like 58,000 views, but I got, I think, over 200 new subscribers just from that short on this channel. So it's, it's a way you can grow your channel if it hits the shelf. A lot of these have not hit the shelf. So, um, let me see if I can find the video that for some reason I can never find it when I scroll. Anyway, if you go over to reseller testing products, you can search by video with the most views and it'll pop up. Now I do have longer videos on the channel. So if you're bored and you want to go watch the channel, I am trying to get it monetized. So be sure to subscribe and watch. Um, but if you want to see items I'm selling, this is a great um, way to see some of the things that function that I sell. Now, I will tell you some days I drop like 10 videos on this channel. So you're probably not going to want to hit the bell. Um, otherwise, you're going to get like bings, a bunch of bing bongs. Uh, okay, so the next item I sold. Okay, so the thrift battle. It was a vintage Navarone playset. And again, I picked it up for $2 at a garage sale and it was like an amazing surprise and I ended up parting it out. So if you want to see every single item that I parted out, you can go to this video and it starts with my solds and then it goes into everything that I listed from that play set. This one right here is just a hashtag shorts and I just show you the sold items, okay? So um, those are the two videos that you might want to check out. And I'm trying to put some videos over there for you guys. I'm trying to get my watch time up, if I'm being completely honest. Um, so things that I'm parting out, I think that's still kind of like reseller testing products. So I'm putting that over there. I had a vintage caribou um, game that I got and it was not complete. So what I ended up doing was parting it out. And I'm going to make more money on this vintage care. It's, I don't know if it's vintage. It's discontinued, retired. I'm sorry. Vintage might not be the word. But um, you can make big money parting out one of these. So if you check out this video right here, I show you how I took it apart and how I listed each item to make the most money for this incomplete game. So that might be another one you guys would want to check out over on that channel. So again, you might not want to hit the bell because on some days I list a whole bunch. Other days, I don't list nothing. I don't list anything. <laughs> Proper English. Okay, so uh, check out that channel. Subscribe. Check out some videos. Help me get my time in. That would be amazing. All right, so the Vintage Navarone set. Let's talk about the two items that I sold. These were from, I'm sorry, I sold three items. These were from the thrift battle. This is the first item and you see how it's got the wear or I don't know, it's not really wear staining. Now, um, I talked about this in the thrift battle and a good point that primetime treasure hunter made was that some people have sets that have the staining because they're old and they may be looking for an item to complete their set 
that has that staining. So it doesn't necessarily um, decrease the value a whole lot. And somebody made me an offer on this and we went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I don't know how many times, way too many. And I'm like, I'm getting at least $13 for this because it's worth it. Um, I think I would have listed it higher, but um, if it wasn't stained, but I still felt like the sale price of $13, actually it was on sale. I think it was on sale for like 14 something. So I countered at 13 or maybe it was 15 something. Anyway, sold for 13, buyer was all in for 19.33. This is a piece of the playset that fits into the playset. I took this thing completely apart. I listed every single item on this playset, you guys. So definitely check out that video because parting it out can definitely be a great way to make the most money on the item. I typically only do it if something's missing in a part, but um, that's just me. Okay, so the tank. This is the tank, okay? This is another item from that playset. You guys, this is plastic. It's not fancy. It's just old and collectible and hard to find. Um, I got super lucky with this. I mean, it was dusty and dirty and just sitting there for $2. And I was like, oh, I think that's a bolo. So the research is paying off. So uh, this guy, the tank, it sold for, where is it? Mark's truck. Nope. The Mark's tank sold for $55 and the buyer was all in for $64 and 18 cents. Now the truck again, just plastic guys, nothing fancy. I mean, look at the, uh Oh, Oh, I, I was like, it's missing the wheels, but no, it's got these things and then it just rolls. Okay. So this one sold for $48.75. The buyer was all in for $56.82. The next item came from my, that's not it, my dibble box that I bought from Donatella Bottolino's channel. Um, a dibble box. I had somebody um, in my Facebook group say, what is a dibble box? And a dibble box is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. and it's basically a reseller box. And this is a coach backwards keychain, coach keychain. And if you go to this channel, my sourcing with Bola Buddies, let me pull it up real quick. The box that my husband and I opened together, this was one of the items in that. So he kept some stuff. You guys got to go check it out to see what he kept. And I sold some stuff. So, um, hey, and you guys go over to this, what sold. I changed the thumbnail today. It seems like when I use red font or print, when I write the words in red, they get less views. So I changed it to green today. And I put, I am sure you walk past these, not those. <laughs> but anyway, it only has 384 views and my what sold videos typically get like 700, usually at least. So what happened guys? Was it the red print? Tell me what types of thumbnails grab your attention. Do you guys like the green? Um, let me know. Cause it seems like red is no good. So I've got purple. It did. Okay. Uh, this one was a little wild. You guys really watch that one. It has 754. So those are pretty, anything over a thousand views on this channel is pretty good because this is my new channel and I'm still trying to get the word out. So share my videos if you want. If you want, you don't have to. Um, I don't want you guys to ever feel like I'm annoying. Eee! Okay. Um, I am really chatty tonight. Sorry guys. Okay. Uh, so yeah, go check out that what sold. It's a really good one. I don't know what happened. So anyway, the dibble box, the coach, um, what did I pay for that box? Did I pay 160? I think I paid $160 for that box, but my husband kept some stuff that was for my husband. And then I knew there were items that I could sell to make my money back. So this, um, keychain, this coach keychain sold for where are you at? Looking at my, looking at my notes. Ooh, I can't find it. Oh, I know I wrote it down. 
coach. I wrote coach. $28 buyer all in for $34.53. Not too shabby, right? The next one is super cool. Stay with me, guys, because I'm going to show you what I sold that my husband thought was his. That's going to be the last item. And it sold for $100. Okay, so this one is Darling. Do you guys remember the dollhouse? Um, I got a huge lot of vintage dollhouse things. So this is a little record holder. And these are the records. It's for a dollhouse. Isn't it cute? Look at the little records. And they fit in the slots. This one says The Turtles, Golden Hits. And it's got the record. Actually, the record stuck. I thought maybe it came out. So you can put the little record in the display like that. Actually, not like that. Oh, man. Struggles here. Okay, like that. And then this is displayed in the dollhouse. So it's, it's super cute. That sold for, I think it was a repeat customer. They sent me an offer of 13. So I went ahead and took that and the buyer was all in for 1868. Again, this was a estate sale, big, big box of uh, dollhouse items. Great deal. Like I said, I used to do RA retail arbitrage. I got about $3 in these express jeans. I have a ton of these listed. Um, I'm getting down towards the end, but if you're interested, you can go check it out. These are, these are a bell crop high rise. But they're new with tags. So um, I sold these for $19.95. The buyer was all in for $29.57. And um, I paid about $3. The next item, remember the David's Bridal. Um, I bought a bunch of shoes and dresses. Kind of, uh, I don't want to say I am having a little struggles there. Um I don't want to say I regret it because I've made money, but I have a lot left. They're really long tail. It's tough, but these shoes are pretty fantastic. I don't know if these are dial. I think these might be dialable. Not a hundred percent sure, but they've got the like rose detail. Great wedding shoes. David's Bridal is a bridal shop and they have an on online thing. And what I used to do was get coupons and wait for things to go on sale. And then I would get things cheap. I am $89 and I sold them for $26.24. The buyer was all in for $37.98. So not great margins there, but I made my money back. Hallelujah. It's always nice to make your money back, right? And I made a little profit. So yay, yay me. Okay, here's the item. This was the item that my husband thought was his. You ready? These are uh, Tony Llama. Mine are a size 11. His are a size nine and a half. And I don't think I can, can you guys see in there? That's what they look like on the inside. It says the brand. It also says the brand on the bottom. And I got these at a garage sale for $12. And the buyer bought them on Poshmark. They were they paid $100. And they paid the shipping. So my cost of goods was $12 at a garage sale. Poshmark took $20. Sold them for $100. So I got $80 minus my $12. Poshmark gave me $80. And then I can't do math. 78, no, $68. 100 minus 20 is 80. 80 minus 12 is 68. So my profit was $68. Plus I made my money back. Okay, yeah. Glad we saved that for the end. Most of you still won't be here. <laughs> anyway, I'm so funny. All right, if you guys made it to the end, comment. I made it to the bad joke. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Go check out Carissa on Chosen Goods Reseller. Um, the video is probably up where she does an unboxing of a box that I sent her. Um, she was in the hospital and I was like, I'm going to send her a box so she can 
have some content and unbox this while she's at the hospital. Well, I think she either got released before or right after I sent it. And um, she has been putting it off, putting it off. I'm like, girl, do the video. So anyway, she finally did the video. And um, it was what I said is you have to tell everyone if you're going to keep it or sell it because she really likes to keep things. Um, which I think a lot of us resellers find things we like to keep, right? So I tried to put things in there that I knew that might catch her interest. So I was going to make it really hard for her. And I can't remember now even what I told her. If I told her she could only keep three items um, cause I was trying to make it kind of like a challenge, kind of fun to, to unbox. So, um, there was one thing that I threw in that Dut was a gift. And then one thing was like, you guys have just have to go watch it. But anyhow, I'm like, it's been so long. I don't even remember what I sent you. I remember just like running around trying to figure out things, but I wanted some of the things to be like kind of hard for her to decide. So. We'll see what she decided to keep. We'll see if she keeps more than she was allowed to keep. And um, it should be a fun video. I think she's going to air it tomorrow. And I might be airing this video tomorrow if I can get the thumbnail done. Um, because I'm already behind. Because it's already Monday. And I usually do this on Sunday. But I was out of town. So um, I don't know who. If, if it's not up yet check back. It should, it should be at least scheduled. I think mine will post first. If I, if I get it up tomorrow, mine will post first. Maybe I'll do this on Wednesday. Anyway, it should be there. Either a thumbnail telling you when it is, or, um, I'm going to look back at this and be like, be quiet. <laughs> okay, you guys just go look for the video. I don't know when. I don't know when I'm posting when she's posting, but thanks for watching. <laughs> it's a mess. Uh, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it all. You guys get the bloopers because that's what I do. I don't have time to edit tonight. I still have to ship and I have to do my, I'm still talking. I have to do my um, members, uh, featured members video. So the people that have signed up to be a member of my Bolo Buddies channel, my bigger channel. Um, I do a featured members video and I'm doing a bonus video that's going to go on this channel this week or not this week, this, hopefully this month. I hope to get, yeah, this month. Um, so I'm going to hopefully record that tonight and then the one for my main channel. So these videos are awesome because they're all Bolo finders and they find fantastic stuff. But the video that I'm going to put on this channel is going to be like unique, weird, different items that maybe I wouldn't have sourced. So it's going to be a fun video. Uh, so stay tuned for that one. Again, if you're not subbed over on my main channel, check that out. And if you're interested in memberships, um, if you go over to my Bolo Buddies channel, there is a join button at the bottom of each video. You can join. And if you want to have your Bolo featured, that's the in the video, that's the $4.99 a month, which if you have a YouTube channel, you can't beat $5, not even $5, one cent off to have your video featured on another channel for five bucks a month. That's like, that's cheap advertising and check with your accountant, but I'm pretty sure you can write off advertising. So it's a tax write-off, right? So if you have a YouTube channel and you're interested in being featured, definitely go over to my main channel and check that out. Sales pitch at the end. All right. If you made it this far to the second this far, say I made it to the real end. All right. Let's see how many of you made it. Thanks for watching. The real end.